Hey, it's Phil. Let's uh, see what's going on with the rest of that cave. Still at sub level four. Okay. A lot more purples now. I know we cracked these open last time, but now that we have no uh, time limit down here, might as well get everyone in. Whoever needs it. Okay, looks like that's everyone. Just gotta be extra careful that I don't, you know, use the wrong Pikmin. That looks like a way out. Got an Ace of Spades. Only one needed. For a place called the Hole of Beasts, uh, Sure haven't encountered many yet. Cool. The luck wafer. I like that. Oh, there's one. So we're going to want to surprise it. Don't brush against it. It's ready a purple one and aim for the eyes. Wow. Hey, it's a Game & Watch. There we go. Good haul. That's cool. I wonder which one that is. It usually says on the game. <laughs> Red Pikmin is eager to see it too. Okay, I was gonna say it's probably Ball because that's the first one. Dream Architect. For a little while, uh, Nintendo had this like membership thing called Club Nintendo, and um, they have since changed it into a different version of it, which. Um, it's still cool, but it's like kind of not as great because where you could get uh, full games on it before, now you can only kind of get discounts and a few extra things. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. They had a. Uh... Oh! Wow. Oh, they got scared. That's interesting. Anyway, there was um, one of the highest tier rewards, one of the like ones that costed the most points, was actually a Game & Watch with a ball on it. And I always really wanted it, but I could never uh, get enough points to grab it, because I would always spend it on like virtual console stuff, like um, N64 games for my Wii U and whatnot. Um, but I got a lot of value out of it. Another purple bud. Yeah, we should. Could have gotten more. Oh, it lets me get more until it's out. Okay. And there's still that nectar there, so we can buff him up right away. Two more. I didn't notice. Come on, camera, work with me. Looks like a little shortcut under here. Yeah. Okay. And let's guide him through the nectar. I guess that was it. That was a pretty easy cave. Unless that was uh, going deeper in and not coming back out. I can't tell. Come on, guys. Some stragglers. Is that everyone? I want to make sure none of them got, like, stuck on the geometry, because that happens in some games. 
No, they seem okay. The hole was over here, I think? Oh, it's there. Maybe that's further in. Yeah, it is deeper. Okay. Fine by me. So there's one thing that I very clearly remember about this game. Um, final floor. I'm not sure if it's here. Oh. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna wait a sec while I explain this. Um, actually, no. You guys will see it later in the game. There's one thing I remember that's like a super boss. Um, but I remember it being much later. This is just a normal boss. This is... gross. This is what's known as uh, Empress Bulblax. I'm gonna throw stuff at it. So what I gotta be careful of is this thing will roll and just obliterate my Pikmin. Come on, come on. Come on, come on! Oh, no. That's bad. Hold him back, hold him! Oh. Uh, I'm gonna juice these ones up. Whew. Um, you know what, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna restart. That was too much of a loss. Hmm. No, that's not what I want either. I want to just reset the game. Uh huh. Or should I just stick with it? I don't know. I lost a lot of pigment just now. And I only have one purple one left, which I think I need those. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I even carry this thing? Oh my god. Love tester. So... If I'm able to, I'll do this again. Because that was really, really bad. That is an example of how not to play this game. Um, what I should have done is thrown a couple at a time so I could call them back quickly. And not all of them. So, what's going to happen is, um, when I get back to the ship, I'm going to see if I can go back a day. This is another, um, old Nintendo product. It's really weird. And it allows us to now have a treasure radar. Which is interesting. Uh, can I carry these? Let's get the purple one. Come on, guys. Oh man, what a loss. That was bad. You guys gonna figure it out? Okay, maybe I can do it this way. Risk that. Okay, um, it's fine, it's fine. I think it will allow me to go back.
I hope. Oh man, what a nightmare. No, this is this is too bad. Okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut here and reset the game. So uh, <laughs> I gotta have a, a proper go at that. That was a, a mess. I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, I'm back. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to juice him right away. Alright, speed and attack power. Yep, roll around. I got impatient. Then she'll come back to the center. Call him back, right away. Yes, okay. This is just a waiting game. In Pikmin 3, there's a lot of instances where you can really effectively overwhelm an enemy. This is not one of them. <laughs> come back, come back. Okay, yep, yep, yep. This is not so hard. But you gotta be smart about it, or else you can have a big catastrophe on your hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Play it safe. Don't need to lose anyone. So it would appear that uh, Pikmin <laughs> is the first game where I actually needed to edit my videos. Ew. Alright, much better. Jeez. <laughs> That was awful. Okay. Get some reds because it'll help them speed up a bit. Okay, just 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 help them out. And you too, just help him out. <laughs> it's the only things to carry on this floor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Love tester. Prototype detector. Treasure gauge, fully operational. And now appear on the monitor. Needle will move to the right as you approach treasure. Yep. That was a valuable <laughs> learning experience. And that little fizzle out that it just did indicates that we cleared out this dungeon. Whew, wow. That was bad. Cave complete. Look at all these goodies. Yes, I will save. Back to Awakening Wood. Man, what would I have had to do? Because a big part of uh, this dungeon was getting enough purple pigment to squash that paper bag. And, uh, well, let's just say I lost a lot more than I gained. 20% of debt recovered. Good stuff. Take out these grubs. Come back. 
Come on, bud. There are already a hundred Pikmin in the field. I I feel really stupid. Um, I'm not sure what it is or why it says 95 as my total. Is that like? Because that's not five purple Pikmin. That's 25. Alright. Listen, I'm no math magician, but, uh... That doesn't seem like the right math. Let's get some more berries, because those really helped. I gotta be wary of these, uh, flowers now. Oh, it's reacting. There's some treasure. Oh, it must be that. Just want to make sure there's no more of those things. Okay. Hopefully we have enough, e uh, enough of these guys. Like purples, purples, purples. Thank you. And now we flatten the bag. Another cave, too. Some water. Careful. Oh my god. Oh, he only grabs one. Just overwhelm him, just overwhelm him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. I don't think he actually... he got one Pikmin. Okay. I don't think I can reach that yet. No. Probably have to go up here. Where there's another cave. There's a lot of caves. Okay. Not bad. I mean, yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do one of the main differences from this Pikmin to the next one. Yeah, it's reacting to that treasure. Come on, guys. Oh, also. Blue and yellow pellets. We'll probably gather by now that there's going to be more Pikmin than just the purple and red. But, yeah, it's kind of showing you already. <laughs> and if you've played the first Pikmin, then you've already seen them. In the first Pikmin, there was just the primary colors. We gotta stock up as much as we can. These grubs are very non-threatening. Okay, there's a treasure over here, apparently. Really? Did I miss this before? Up here, perhaps? Really? It's right here, apparently. Or up there. How odd. Yeah, I can't see it. Is there a map that I can look at? Doesn't show them on the map. Yeah, I remember coming up here before and being a little confused as to why I could throw the Pikmin up there. So I would not be surprised if there was something there. Oh, I just remembered something. Okay, yeah. There is, there is something there. Carry the grub. And again, um, going into caves does not pass the time anymore. So I'm gonna actually already just go into the next cave. Yep, we can't get that yet. We're probably gonna need to go in here. And there's more of that poisonous air. Hmm. 
So we can bail if it gets bad. Hmm, there's another uh, thing on the top. We're gonna get another Pikmin type in here. They introduce the two new ones to Pikmin 2 right away. White Flower Garden, okay. Well, there goes any mysticism. There are the white Pikmin. More grubs. Fight them off. Carry them back, please. Just a little bit of spare change. Alright, let's move. Here, nope. This is neat. This little like rusted thing. Oh. Isn't that like shoe polish? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. It says shoe polish. That's funny. Yeah, they've got like branded items in here. Not a lot of Nintendo games do that. Which is all the same, but in this case, it doesn't feel like it's taking away from the game. It's actually adding to the world building because this strange planet is supposed to be Earth. That's so funny. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Alien billboard. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Keep moving. Nothing else on the floor. Very useful. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was gonna launch him off the edge there. saves floor to floor too. So luckily, uh, when I had that Pikmin wipe, <laughs> it saved on the next floor right before the boss fight. Wow, that looks valuable. Little gem. Oh, there's cool music here. Pardon the radar, it's a bit annoying. Got it. Oh, it's a little heart-shaped gem. I love it. Reminds me of Spinel. Okay, these guys spit fire. I don't remember if I encountered them yet. So we want to throw the red pigment at them. They can't be harmed. We'll get some purples to carry it. Excuse me? Dr. Pepper? Drought Ender. No, not the purples, not the purples, not the purples. Come back. Yeah, Ooh, I got burned there. Is that my first time taking damage?
call my buddies back. <laughs> it's fun to do. Guys, speed it up a little. Or not. There we go. Alright, let's keep this train rolling. There it is. So the interesting thing is that, um, I'm not sure if I said this, but with the white and purple Pikmin, you have to throw red ones into a flower to get them. Um, which kind of implies that they're like an unnatural form of Pikmin, or at least not like a native form, like they're kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of mutation, right? Hothouse for foliage, oh that's cool. And the pigment want to be tossed in, which is even weirder because it's like, probably gives off some kind of something. I don't even know what word I'm trying to use. Okay. And now we've got some white pigment. And they're cute. They have very weird voices. And they've got compound eyes. And as you can see from his like breath there, they're immune to poison. They're very fast, um, but they don't do as not they don't do as much damage as the other types. Um, the thing about them, though, is because they are poisonous, if an enemy eats them, they'll take a lot of damage, but you don't really want them to get eaten. It's strange. Um, white Pikmin are probably my least favorite for that reason, um, but who knows, maybe I'll get more attached to them as I play this. Let them have some nectar. Good, good. And they also have uh, purple flowers on top of their head. The other Pikmin have white flowers. And they can dig things up, which is what I was going to mention before. That's some tape. There we go. Gamma tape. <laughs> it's funny just seeing these household products. I worked in retail for a little while, so I recognize a lot of them. Maybe there's something else? Yeah, okay. I was hoping for one of those. I can't quite tell where it is. Oh, you can see its shadow. Missed it out. Oh, okay. So it's like here. Did I not get it? There. Oh, they can't carry it. My bad. Oh, actually, this is the spicy sauce. You guys can do it. And we'll use some red ones to help them do it quicker. And where are you going, guys? I'll forge ahead a little. Just the end there. Okay. So I'll go make sure that those guys have a safe journey. Oh, 
Oh, uh, I just noticed you could see the little Pikmin icon flipping out in the bottom. It seems like you can actually pick between the white ones with flowers and with leaves. I only have a few, so... Where is... Yeah, they're separate. That's neat. Just in case you need a little extra firepower. Yeah, I'll stay away from it so it stops dinging. That's really neat though that they uh, dig stuff up too, so I should just try to survey the surroundings, maybe even check out the other caves again. I probably won't need to though, this game isn't the most difficult. Well, <laughs> I say that and I had to restart after having a total wipe. Super stick textile. That it is. Oh, okay, no, I was gonna say, is there something else on this floor? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if the rust had anything to do with the forming of the white, white pigment. Some pretty dirty metal. Not that there's anyone to maintain it anymore. In you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Game has been saved. Sub-level four. Okay. And there's some poison gas seeping out. Okay, can they destroy it? Yes. Good job. Another. Good stuff. Man, Louis is so weird sounding. Just hear him like mumbling sometimes. Something here? No. I was wondering if maybe they could dig something up. Over here though. Is it that mushroom? Probably have to get up there to grab it. Is this a trap? Hold on, let me adjust the camera. Come on, guys. Some purple ones up there too. You gotta dig it up. I wonder if that means the white ones are just better at digging too. And they got it out. Okay. I'm sure, we got everyone. Hmm. Is there something else, or is it just reacting to the mushroom? Yeah, it's the mushroom. Okay. <laughs> Toxic toadstool. more here. How do I do this? If I put them up there, will they go get it? No, it doesn't appear to. Yeah, how do I reach that? I don't know. I don't think I can throw them up there that high. Maybe. Seems a bit tricky. 
If I get them up there, can I do it? Oh, maybe I can call them and then lead them this way, and then they'll run into it kind of thing? No, it doesn't seem like that. I wonder if I'll have to come back for it. I should at least try to get it, though. There's a little, like, lip here that I can kind of angle myself up. If this was Pikmin 3, I could actually just toss Louie up there. Disperse. Yeah, I definitely can't reach that high. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna dive, and then I'm actually gonna end the episode here. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good day, or night, or whenever you're watching this. See you guys next time.